didn't deserve that. Can you drive to this one? Nice car, Roy. Is that department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in Vice, Cole. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Picked a prize shithole for our first date. Officer, please tell me what's going on. It's up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. I'm all done. It's your show now. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? clowns lived on popcorn? They must have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Just when I think I've seen it all. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Black Caesar, from the joint across the street. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Another day, another dollar. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Another special order from the Caesar. Or preparation. 
Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. A bit heavy for an empty cup. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. Fruit, a bell, and win. Strange doodle. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Find anything interesting? One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Another day, another dollar. They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? Never the same, are they? Looks like it was always going to end this way. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of another popcorn. day, another day. Shake him down. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand of... over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. Stay on him. I'm waiting, Roy.
out, man. They're trying to kill me. You got to help me out. What the hell going on here? Morgan! B not you? You picked the wrong cop, you fucking animals. <laughs> I'm gonna... Take it easy. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Not sure this means much. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help me some. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Wait, you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Did you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? 
I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Here we are, Jermaine Jones, 238. Hey, who let you in? Jermaine Jones, don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you... Scott Phantom? Fine radio. Short wave, AM and FM. My father has a Scott. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brennan! Wilt! Get over here! Take these assholes apart. You heard the boss. Is this the best you got? He's... God damn! I don't believe this. Are you too good for anything? Right on. Come on, come on, beat... Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here.
Too much for felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean 50s? This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone murder. and Cornell are dead? Hmm. They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal? I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're... 110? Imagine the changes you'll see. I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. You're lying to me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Fleetwood Morgan will testify that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay. So I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlinati. Merlin runs the lottery for the Jew boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, I deny ever telling you. Tell us about Adi. Adi's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers. Chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker will take the odds on anything. What's the score with Ram as removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. So when we visit Ram as removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic? And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you too. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. like a decent guy. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address for Ramez removals. That's Ramez, R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thanks for your help.
I'm sorry, sir. Police officer. I find I one goddamn thing. How was Hopgood doing, Roy? Who? Out of the car. Police. Marlon Hopgood. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Roy, we're in a hurry. On my way. Oh, right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, Roy. As long as Hollywood exists, it's going to be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. You caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. The name's Marilyn Odie. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you. I pay my kick to the WAPs, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. Cohen took over the wire service from Siegel, right?
this quantity, we're looking at a high-level trafficking charge. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. I think Ramez's place is our next stop. Oh, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better start God talking. damn it. Get after him, Phelps. Give it up, Artie. That broad has socks in it. Stop right there, Audie, or I will shoot. Lock him up and throw away the key. Excuse me. There he is. See him? What are you trying to do, Merlin? All right, all right, relax, motherfucker, you got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. Adi has Jose Ramez in his pocket. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I've paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Jermaine Jones gave you up as a supplier. He says that you're Lenny's sissy, and that you'll do whatever Lenny tells you. Me? That nigga's a dead man. I moved the dope Jose brings me. Jose Ramirez, I ran a clean numbers racket until those two motherfuckers went into the dope business. Ramez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and ship dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you. And fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. You're behind the wheel. All right, where to?
LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Roger, 11K. What does this lunatic think he's doing? Here comes the cavalry. We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. He's going left onto Hollywood. Get alongside him and take him out. That's it, Cole. You did it. It's truck's history. Pull him out of there. Put your hands where I can see them. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're going to take a look around inside. What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? Couldn't you think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. Are we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, it looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you an infilate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of steak? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. 
Is that guy your idea, muscle kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Merlinati is buying a lot of furniture. There must be a way through the back. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. Smells of old people in here. This is useless. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above.
Get down here. There's a cold room in the back. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna wanna see this. There's something frozen inside. Well, I'll be damned. This must be how they transport the morphine. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. Catch this, you asshole. Show me your face, motherfucker. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going? Is Audi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little. Let his hair down at the end of the week, but... Morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize hop, Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? Factory is closed. Has been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. 
Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Fucker. You're covered, pal. Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. This one's got your neck! here somewhere what the hell is the matter can someone please just give me some goddamn cover how long do you think you can hold out let's move throw out the guns Take cover, you lunatic. I ain't running out of friends or guns in here anytime soon. Understand? Give me some space here. <laughs> You're pretty brave for a dead man. Give me some cover. You're clear to go. I'm wide open here. Let's see if I can't pull one. Let's just do you wrong. If you die, boy, I won't. Find some cover. Catch this asshole. Stay in cover. Give me some goddamn cover! This asshole! Are you trying to get yourself killed?
Clear me some space here. Empty. It's useless. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? Soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Let's have a look around. Now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Three guesses what's in the box. Open her up, Cole. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. You know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Get moving, Phelps. Roy's informant is the skittish type. 